Hello fellow captains, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a review of the Alita Heavy Strike Wing Escort. The Alita was released around July 2015, coming in the retail price of $30 or 3,000 Zen for the ship itself or $60 6,000 Zen for the cross-faction bundle. The Alita's stats are as follows, starting off with the bridge officer seating, a commander tactical, lieutenant commander engineering slash pilot, lieutenant science, lieutenant tactical, and lieutenant universal. For consoles, there are two science, three engineering, and five tactical. This ship comes with four forward-facing and three aft weapon slots, a base hull of 48,000, shield modifier of 0.9, and base turn rate of 15, and two device slots. As a bonus, you get plus 15 to weapons and plus five engineering power levels. Since the Alita is classified as an escort ship, it comes with an, the experimental weapon slot. The Alita is also classified as a strike wing vessel, which means it also comes with a wing of fighters that can be deployed to assist you in taking down any enemy that you encounter. The Alita is a T6 ship, which comes with a starship mastery. At tier one, you get precise weapon systems that increase accuracy by five. Tier two gives you tactical maneuvering for plus 5% defense. Tier three is enhanced weapon systems that give you plus 10% to kinetic and all energy damage. At tier four, you get devastating weaponry for a plus 2.5% critical chance. And finally, at tier five, you have the coordinated assault that allows your fighters to, e to use either beam overload or cannon rapid fire one. The Alita comes equipped with a universal console that can only be used by any of the other heavy strike wing ships, Akira, Thunderchild, and Arnimage. The console is to destabilize tachyon meters, which gives you a passive ability of plus 10% for all directed energy damage and plus 20 starship drain expertise which improves energy and shield drain and a resistance to the same. When the console is activated it releases a burst of tachyons that does heavy PB AOE point blank area of effect, shield damage, shield DOT damage over time and minus shield hardness at a 5 kilometer range. The base damage is minus 35 34,000 to all shields, minus 277 all shields per second for 10 seconds, and increases damage to shields from all energy types by 10% for 10 seconds, and there's a 2 minute cooldown. In addition to this destabilized tachyon emitter, if you have all three variants of the Heavy Strike Wing, you are able to use all three consoles from these vessels and get a bonus set power. For Two consoles, you get heavy weaponry that will give you plus 20% for kinetic torpedo damage and 10% critical severity. For all three consoles, you get plus 2.5% critical chance, plus 15% recharge time reduction to tactical and bridge and pilot bridge officer abilities and 3% accuracy. And finally, we have the Admiralty ship stats. You get 26 engineering, 65 tactical, and 18 science. You also get a bonus of plus 8 science per engineering or tactical ship. My final thoughts on the Alita Heavy Strike Wing Escort are as follows. I firmly believe that if you are flying the ship without the intent of using it for a specific role in the game, you are losing out on some great potential. I know for a fact that I just thought of hangar pets as a bit of extra damage when it came to DPS. I now have a greater understanding of the role that they play. With this build specifically set as an actual strike wing vessel, my fighters lasted much longer. In fact, not one was destroyed while doing this run. Not only did they survive, they did more damage and increased my DPS. The starship trait, Coordinated Assault, is perfect for this ship build as it allows your fighters to use basic rapid fire or beam overload, which also increases damage. If you are looking at, a, at building a strike wing build, this trait would be considered meta. Now, I will say that I'm not particularly fond of the Universe Console as you have your rear exposed to the enemy and have to be within 5 kilometers of the target. Despite that, the 10% energy damage is a good passive ability, and while the active abilities are great, I'm just not sure if a Strike Wing build would truly benefit. The Bridge Officer stations seem to have a nice balance. I was especially happy for the Pilot Engineer, so I was able to put at least one pilot ability to good use. I would, however, like to have seen the tactical reduced to an ensign and have the lieutenant science get promoted to a lieutenant commander. To me, I think that would have worked out much better. One thing that irritates me is the locking of the ship console to a specific ship. Please note that only the point defense system is allowed on any other ship, while the torpedo 
point defense system and destabilized tachyon emitter are locked to the heavy strike wing ships only. Overall, the Alita heavy strike wing escorts, while there are some drawbacks, it's overall a fun ship to fly. If I were to give it a score out of 10, I'd probably go with a 7.5 out of 10. That is going to be it for today's video, and as always, I'd love to hear from you. Do you agree with my conclusion? Do you like the Alita? What ship would you like me to review next? Let me know your answers or any questions you have down in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and remember to click on the bell to be, icon to be notified when I actually do upload a video. And as always, thank you for watching. Live long and prosper. This is Phoenix, warping out.